episode three. We're getting this in episode three. What the fuck? You don't know the power of the dark side. You underestimate my power. <laughs> So I'm dying to know what you guys thought of this. I've never been more excited to read your guys' comments in my entire life. If you've never left a comment on any one of my videos, don't worry about it. It's okay. Please make this the first one you comment on. I want to know everything on how you guys thought about this. The good, the bad. Like, I, I, I was lost for words, so I want your words, please. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought of this. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day today so far. So in this video we're going to be reacting to part 3 of Obi-Wan. So I thought the first episode was absolutely perfect. I loved it, I loved the pacing, I loved pretty much every single thing about it. Um, and in part 2, in the video I pretty much said the same thing as part 1. Obviously, there are some parts that are not as great as I thought watching it again. Uh, some dialogue I didn't like, but I don't really... I mean, I love the prequels. The prequels aren't known for having great dialogue. So I don't really uh, punish that episode too much. So my ranking for episode 2 was 10, I believe I gave it. Um, I'm going to take that down to either an 8.5 or a 9. Um, like I said, I did really like it. There are a lot of questions about Reva, about the Grand Inquisitor. Um, Reva knows some stuff. Reva knows some stuff that she probably shouldn't know. So um, if they can make all that work and, and make sense, then I'm on board with it. But if they don't really explain areas and if some characters feel not like their characters, then I'm going to be a little upset. But like I said, absolutely loving this series so far. Obi-Wan was actually the biggest premiere for Disney Plus, like a Disney Plus show. So hats off to them. Fantastic job. You can tell how much work is being put into these shows. But I just watched episode 4 of Stranger Things. So I may be a little emotional right now. That was a fantastic episode. Um, got me crying a couple times. So when I'm watching this, if I see Hayden Christensen pop up in a flashback. If I see Rex, Cody, even Palpatine or, 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 or someone that, that brings me back to my childhood, I might cry. So this episode's been out for about 47 minutes, so I can't wait a second longer. Let's get right into part three. I'm calling it. We're getting this. We are getting this this episode, baby. I think we're getting Qui-Gon in the last episode. Or <laughs> when, oh my god, sorry. I'll talk about that later. We're seeing Vader right now. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, look at Aiden! He's been looking for you for a long time. There he is, there's his castle. Where is he? Oh, the voice! His beautiful voice! Kenobi is all that matters now. Is that understood? Yes, my lord. I got full body chills. Fail me, and you will not live. To regret it. Oh my god. That's that's Vader. Master. It's a trade route, Leia. I'm not in control of it. Kittens or sonnet or something. Poor Obi Wan work. <sighs> Whoa. Oh my god. That's Hayden. Obviously, he doesn't know what Darth Vader looks like, so that's the that's the only form of Anakin that he knows. I just spoke with Lord Vader. You spoke to him yourself. He asked me to lead the hunt. Unless you feel I should follow your orders instead. I mean, she was like constantly acting out in episodes one and two. So how how, how would the Inquisitors just trust her on that? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really make that much sense. My friend, my father. This is my father, Orden. We're farmers from Tall. Hey there, I'm Freck. 
That voice sounds so familiar. Hello. Hello there. Oh, come on. We were going on, Leia. They know what they're doing, Leia. Oh, you. I thought her name was Boomba. That was her mother's name. I get confused. <laughs> like I said it's not been easy. What? Sometimes you like when a... I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. Ah. We all miss her very much. You can, uh, you can oh. tell that was sincere. Just keep your eyes open. It's a great filming location. This is probably like, uh, I don't know, Texas. Arizona, California, I don't know. A couple of strays I found. Thought you might want to check them out. Oh, you right. bastard. Thanks, Frank. Oh! Oh my god, he got absolutely... Oh, crap. Oh, this is the, uh... Come the on. person. They'll have sent a transmission. We have to oh, wait. Me. Never mind. <sighs> is this where we get the Vader showdown? I don't think they give yeah, that to us in episode three. Hello there. Quinlan was here. Yeah, he helps now and again. Smuggling younglings. Quinlan Voss? Is, is this actually happening? Are we actually getting this? There's no way we're getting this in episode three. Hello there. I'm I'm dimming my light so I can see properly because it's so dark. Oh man, are we? Is he gonna go round two with the youngling? Oh my god! He just snapped that kid's neck. Choked out the dad. Snapped the kid's neck. Let the mom live with it. What the? Oh my god. He's just slaughtering everyone. I, I can see why people don't like the Empire. I can't see This is episode three! We're getting this in episode three? What the f Oh my god. Yeah, we're we're getting this. He's using one hand too. Oh my god, look how strong he is. Guys, we're getting this in episode three. I don't know if I've said it twenty times. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he's going to burn him, just like he got burnt. You will suffer, Obi-Wan. Oh, my God. Jesus. What the hell? Oh, my God. This is... Your pain has just begun. Literally sounds exactly like Anakin burning on Mustafar. What a great shot. Oh. He's like a marshmallow that fell off the stick and landed in the embers. Oh, why is my thing like. Oh, no! Unfortunately, they couldn't make it. What the mother. Okay, we just finished episode three, and yeah, a lot happened. The episode description said Obi-Wan finds allies, not Vader comes, drags him into burning embers, Toys with him for about 15 minutes. Snaps a kid's neck. 
chokes a dad out, drags some lady 20 feet, and I'm pretty sure she's dead too. Obi-Wan gets flashbacks of, of Anakin, which I think he had Sith eyes. It looked like he had Sith eyes. I don't know if I was ready for that. I, I mean, I, I don't know if I was ready for that. That was um, an experience. I I don't know if I can give a rating. I don't know if I can give a rating for this one right now. This was episode three. This was episode three. I assume... I assume they... Oh my god. Just like... Does Vader see Leia? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really have moments where I I have a lack of words. And I have issues. Trying to get out what's inside. That's why I, I don't have a rating right now. It's because I, I can't speak. I don't know like what I just saw. I don't know if I absolutely loved it or or what. I, 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 I think I did. I think I really liked it. I think I did. But I don't know. Like I, I, I don't know what to say. And this is I've been literally stuttering and, and saying like nothing for about like ten minutes. And I know this is an episode that a lot of people are probably going to want to watch reactions to. And the longer I take to form something, the the less clicks I'll probably get. But, like, I, I, I don't know what to say, man. So I assume Leia gets taken. And Obi-Wan has to go get Leia back from Vader... From the Inquisitors. And maybe. This is where Qui-Gon comes in. If I'm right. John Favreau. Dave Filoni. Call me. I'd be happy to write. For Star Wars. But I feel. Obi-Wan is going to need. Someone. To say. You can do it. It's inside of you. So I, I feel that... I feel that this is where Qui-Gon is going to come in. And Qui-Gon is going to talk to him and say... It's not your fault. How he is. Is how. What happened to him. Is his fault. It's not your fault. You have everything you need. To make things right. And like I said. I don't know. How I feel about that episode. Obviously, we just saw Vader back. Obviously, we just saw some of the coolest Star Wars that we've ever seen. We just saw Vader, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan talk for the first time since Mustafar. But I just wasn't expecting that. Like, they did so much that I thought was going to be spread out or, or or I thought we were gonna have a little bit more build up before we got to that moment but I mean this is definitely not the last time Vader and Obi-Wan square off so I'm assuming they're gonna be doing it again two o'clock in the morning is gonna take me a couple hours to edit this and then I'm gonna watch the episode again and then I'm probably going to have an hour or two of sleep and it's going to be time for me to wake up. So I'm dying to know what you guys thought of this. 
I've never been more excited to read your guys' comments in my entire life. If you've never left a comment on any one of my videos, don't worry about it. It's okay. Please make this the first one you comment on. I want to know everything on how you guys thought about this. The good, the bad. Like, I, I, I was lost for words, so I want your words, please. Let me know what you guys thought of this. As I mentioned, please leave a comment. Like or dislike, I don't care. You can dislike it if you want, but just please leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this. I am so excited to read it. I will talk to you again in the next episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day today. But, of course, may the falls be with you. Always.